The 80s have been known to be one of the most competitive times in the entertainment industry, especially in Hollywood, but Talisa Soto stood out as one of the most praised actresses from 1980 to 2009. Her career started from a pretty young age, and over the years, she's managed to build recognition, fame, and credibility through her superb performance in over 30 notable films. But before she began pursuing a career in acting, her unusually striking beauty and charisma enabled her to become a professional model. For her, modeling was more than a job, it was a way also of life, and she was extremely passionate about it. Her excellence led to her being chosen by People magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. These, among many other rewards, were proof of how phenomenal she was. However, Thalisa later decided to venture into a more creative and fulfilling craft, which birthed her acting career. Her journey through the entertainment industry was indeed a memorable and inspiring one. This video will take you through the amazing life and times of the extraordinary actress. But before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment saying I subscribed and we'll do our best to personally reply to your comment. From a model at 15 to a renowned actress. Even though Talisa's parents are originally from Puerto Rico, she was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Before her face began to appear on screens, she was gracing magazine covers. Her dream of becoming a model started way before she even turned 15. Even though she was still very young, her parents did their best to support her dream. However, they also made sure that she made her education a priority as well. Their idea was that with a degree, their daughter would be able to have a better life than they ever had. At first, Talisa decided to focus on her education, but she later made the decision to pursue modeling on the side. Talisa was so eager that she started making inquiries about how to get modeling gigs and was advised to apply to modeling agencies. After several applications, she was chosen and signed to the Click Model Agency at the age of 15, and thus the beginning of her modeling career. Juggling school and a career wasn't easy for her, but she was convinced that the path she had taken was hers, and her vision of a successful future kept her going. Thankfully, her summer vacations provided her with ample time to take on modeling work. Just a few weeks after she got signed, she got a gig for a Vogue shot. As expected, she was beside herself with excitement about the opportunity to shoot for one of the most popular, influential American magazines at the time. Talisa was then flown to Paris for the shoot where she unveiled her breathtaking modeling skills. She was a natural. She clearly created an impression for herself because from then on, she was featured on the covers of British and American Vogue, Glamour, British Elle, and Mademoiselle. She truly made history as the first Latina to ever grace the cover of American Vogue in 1989. In the span of a few months, Talisa went from being a little girl with a pocket full of dreams to an internationally recognized model who was breaking barriers. It wasn't long before she started attracting the interest of big brands who wanted to feature her in their advertising campaigns. Some of the renowned brands she ended up working with included Cartier, Versace, Calvin Klein, Clarins, Revlon, Salvatore Ferragamo, Saks Fifth Avenue, and other brands that are still well known even today. The amazing feedback and recurring deals she got over the years were proof that she was doing a great job at marketing for the brands and enabling them to sell their products and services to their target audience. A few years down the line, Talisa got into a relationship with one of her co-models, Nick Kamen. Now, because of their magnetic chemistry on and off camera, they often worked as a team for brands, stylists, and more. Their first creative performance together was their appearance in Madonna's song, Each Time You Break My Heart. They also worked for Ray Petrie, the then-creator and fashion stylist of the 1980s London Buffalo Boy look. Deals continued rolling in for Talisa until she decided to try out a different, unfamiliar path, a path that would put her on the big screens and give her more fame than she could ever imagine. Talisa's inspiring acting career. Even though Talisa spent years of her life building a successful modeling career, she later got to a point where she realized that she wanted to do more than pose for a camera. What she really wanted to do was to immerse herself into a more creative craft that would give her the freedom to express her newfound passion for acting. 
Her next line of action was auditioning for roles that she knew she could comfortably take on. After several no's, she finally landed her debut role as India in 1988 in the comedy film Spike of Bensonhurst. Within the same year, she was chosen for another role, which is said to be one of her biggest ones. Her character was Lupi Lamora in the James Bond film Licensed to Kill. She portrayed the bold and beautiful lady who was in a relationship with Sanchez but had romantic feelings for Bond. Over the next few years, Delisa became one of the most commended and celebrated actresses in the world. She was chosen to star in over 30 movies, including the popular 1995 American fantasy martial arts action film Mortal Kombat, where she played the role of Kitana, the outworld emperor's adopted daughter who decides to help the Earth warriors. Talisa's performances in the movies have remained unforgettable. Her versatility and multifaceted nature is glaring in the variety of film genres that she worked on. While her career was thriving, her personal life was also being transformed. She was seeing someone else who was an actor as well. She had met Costas Mandalore earlier on in the year, and their relationship was thriving. Their relationship eventually led to a marriage, which was great while it lasted. But two years down the line, they made a decision to go their separate ways. Their divorce came as a shock to their fans and sparked a lot of rumors, but through it all, Talisa chose to remain grounded and focused on her career. From 1995 to 2002, Talisa appeared in several other movies, like the romantic comedy Don Juan de Marco, where she played the role of Donna Julia, Johnny Depp's love interest. She also starred in Island of the Dead as Melissa and in Vampirella. Later on in her career, she made an appearance in yet another music video, which was Mark Anthony's video for I Need to Know. Talisa kept on dropping outstanding performances for her fans all over the world until she decided to retire from acting for good. Her last official movie appearance was in La Maison in 2009, after which she finally retired and began fully enjoying the fruits of her labor. A Whopping Net Worth Talisa's years of hard work truly paid off. Recent records from 2020 show that Talisa has an estimated net worth of over $5 million. That's a culmination of her assets, money, and income. She has one of the highest net worths compared to other actresses who were her colleagues in the 1990s. Talisa Loto, up close and personal. Living in the spotlight and fulfilling her goal of being an actress is definitely an achievement that Talisa continues to be proud of. Her life has definitely evolved over the years from getting married to the love of her life, Benjamin Bratt to the gift of her two children. Talisa has certainly built an amazing life for herself a life that she genuinely loves. In March 2019, she finally fulfilled one of her lifelong dreams, which was to take her children to the birthplace of her parents in Puerto Rico. She took to social media to share how happy she was about her recent accomplishment. Talisa is currently 54 years old and is committed to fully enjoying the rest of her life with her loved ones by her side. She is, and will always be, an unforgettable Hollywood icon. So which of Talisa's life facts caught your interest the most? Let us know in the comments below. Hey, check out the next video.